Hi, Mark. So nice to meet Hi, you. I'm super excited to tell you about Remedy. So Great. Remedy is a new kind of wellness brand. It is marrying the evidence-based Western medicine with more innovative, um, more traditional herbal ingredients that you oftentimes see in Eastern medicine. The first product frontier that we're tackling is digestive wellness. So digestive health is something that's really personal to me because I've struggled with stomach discomfort and bloating after eating for years. And yeah. I was very determined to find a solution and understand why these problems are happening rather than just continuing to mask the symptoms. So I paired up with two researchers. Uh, they're both med school professors at Yale and UCSF to create Remedy. And Remedy is an everyday chewable that's delicious and you take it at the end of your meal to prevent bloating, stomach discomfort. Multiple times a day you take it after every meal? You can, you can, yes. Yeah. How's that compared to like the other stuff on the market, like what is it, Gas X and yeah. Beano and these other kinds of products? It's great that you asked that yeah. because we have a slide on that here. So what's interesting is that you have one end of the spectrum, which is more reactive products like Gas X and Beano, and they work. They have clinically proven ingredients that prove to move the needle and reducing gas and preventing some of these symptoms. Um, um, but they're very reactive. And then you have what the other end of the spectrum, which is more supplements with active ingredients like turmeric and ginger, but they don't have any evidence behind their efficacy. So what Remedy does is it essentially bridges a spit gap. It's doctor formulated. It's using the highest quality research-backed ingredients and then using also um, user-centric marketing tactics. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking about, re we're reimagining the vitamin case and how people are taking these products on the go with them. Nice packaging. Thank you. So this is the carrying case. Um, currently the problem with the products that are out there is they come in these big blister silver packs, they say gas X on them, or they come in these capsules or they're powders that you need to create an elixir or a potion with, and it's hugely inconvenient. So we're thinking about how do we get the product to the consumer and then get them to take this with them. They're delicious. You can have one, actually. Can I try one? Yeah, Let's absolutely. Right. So it's almost like a dessert that you have after your meal that has a host of health benefits and reduces stomach discomfort and bloating right after your meals. It tastes awfully good. <laughs> yeah. But sugar in here? No, Stevia. Yeah. You'll have to tell me how you feel after this. Or you feel my stomach de bloating. <laughs> a couple of things on this deck here. Yeah. And I just, you know, venture capitals, they don't have a lot of time to go through these decks. So yeah. you, usually I'd like to put in the first slide, one slide up front to just say, like, in basic, basic, the most basic terms. Yeah. Like, what is remedy? Um, one more question for you in terms of distribution. So yeah. we know that a lot of these digitally native, direct to consumer e commerce brands are having to adopt an omni-channel distribution strategy very quickly. Do you have any advice or um, you know, pointers in terms of how we can approach that strategy and how we should be thinking about that? In this particular category, I think having a really good, robust website, um, you, can, you can probably do a lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. um, at some point, I think I'd probably experiment and try one, but um, I wouldn't complicate the business early on. I don't mm -hmm. think there's enough value um, from doing that, especially with one product. I know that you guys have acquired Bonobos and Eloqui, and yeah. they were amazing disruptors at, of a very st stale, stagnant category. Um, you know, what are some things that you think they did especially well that we can also take lessons from? I think the key is brand soul. Mm -hmm. Like, people want to be emotionally connected mm -hmm. to the brand in a way that maybe in the past they weren't. Like in the past, maybe a gas sex, you know, it's like, hey, I have this problem, like here's the solution, mm -hmm. and it's very transactional. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think with all these digitally native vertical brands, they do a really good job of creating that emotional connection. Mm -hmm. There's a soul to it. Really high net promoter scores, Yeah. amazing customer service, amazing packaging. Like you just feel good about buying it and transacting. Yeah. Right? Just curious, did you face any unconscious bias at all? you know, during, during your pitch to, to investors? Yeah, I mean, our investors have been um, incredibly understanding of the pain point that we're uh, solving for in the offset. I think that 
one thing that we are bracing ourselves for is that this is a pain point that is very pertinent to women. It, it affects women more often than men. And I think mm -hmm. that sometimes we experience them not understanding exactly what we're solving for. And so I think the challenge will be to illuminate this problem and help them understand that this is actually a very big issue and something that a lot of people suffer from. And mm -hmm. we want to create the best, most well thought out solution to address it. Yeah. But you got a great product. You got a great uh, story to tell and certainly a big market out there, so I think you'll I think you'll do well. Thank and, you. And uh, good luck. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Kate.